Are you someone who wants to scrapbook photos the same year they were taken? I want to be this person too, but I'm seldom not. So we're going to be creative together today to scrapbook puppy pictures of Flynn by using this layout that I created in May. May, it's now July. Um, and uh, use it to create another layout of Flynn um, and use the same products. So we're going to create a different scrapbook layout, but using this as a guide. And um, this is something that you could pull the colors. So I pulled Pretty Peacock and uh, Pebbled Path. And we're going to use the, the Just My Type stamp set, just like I used on this layout. So let's have a peek at some cute little pictures. All right, so I've just taken some photos here. They were four by sixes and um, I've trimmed them down. So um, when you have four, three four by six photos, they will fill your scrapbook layout. And I wanted to make sure that they were together but not filling the whole page. So um, this one here, I trimmed down to four by four and then this one we're leaving four by six. I forgot to introduce myself. So I'm Amanda Farlinger with From Where I Stamp near Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And I help busy women scrapbook their memories using stamps, ink, and paper. And we are working on, or have been working on, 2011 photos. I'm a chronological scrapbooker. And it it's hard for me to move around in one year, say 2011, and do a bunch of different photos from different parts of the year, one right after the other, instead of going from like January on the way through. Um, and, but the past few years I've stopped printing photos. Are you the same thing? You, you've done the same thing. Um, so, and I love creating pages starting with photos. So that I way I can pull uh, the stamp sets and the designer paper and the colors all from these photos. That's the easiest thing for me when I create. And um, so if you're someone like that, follow along hit the subscribe button so that you can watch my upcoming videos about how I scrapbook using photos. All right, so we're gonna start, I always start with designer paper. And this paper is from the um, Earth and Elegance designer series paper. So here it is up on the screen. So um, you can purchase that. It's a pack of paper, there's 12 sheets, double-sided. And one tip I have for you, excuse me, is for this layout, I really loved it going up and down. But because of this group of photos here, I wanted to have this more highlighted. And it felt like it kind of like melded into the background for me because it's a lot of brown on brown. So then I found this page. Here's the backside, which is kind of pretty. Um, but I love the pretty peacock. I'm so glad it's returned. Um, I'm loving the new colors that Stampin' Up! has brought out in the new catalog in May. Um, and yet, it's July. How is it July? <laughs> so, pretty peacock. I love this. And I felt this would be great behind these photos because it really makes it pop. But I wanted to put these two together. So, there's a couple different ways you can do that. One, you could cut this page kind of in six like in half, so six inches, and put it on top of here. You could cut this page in, I think I did six and a half or six and a quarter, and glue it on here. But I really like the designs. So another idea that you can do, which I'm going to do on this layout, is you start with either very vanilla or basic white. So we have some basic white here that we're going to put our... I don't even know. I, I don't know. I don't want to call it sheet metal, but, um, or tin, but whatever it is. Okay, good. There's still glue in here. Whatever it is, we're going to glue this down on the page first, and then we're going to build up from there. And you could cut the paper the other way if you felt the horizontal lines work better with your photos. I just like the vertical lines better. Now this will add a little bit of um, weight or stability to your to your layout as well. So if that's something that's interesting, then adding um, cardstock to the to your layout layout is a good thing to do rather than just designer paper. Um, so 
because the cardstock is a, um, a heavier weight. So then I have this peacock, pretty peacock piece here that'll go right about there, which for some reason is not as long. Oh, well. Um, so to pull in the other layout, I don't know if these layouts will go like one, two or left, right in my um, scrapbook yet because I haven't done the other photos from 2023, but because these are Flynn photos, I probably will put them one right after the other. So it kind of works to kind of pull the same colors or some of the same designs. So this paper here, this hatched paper, I have a piece here that I've cut. So it's like an inch and a quarter or an inch. And I think it's like an inch and it's going to go behind here. So I'm going to put that on before I glue this onto my base layer. And I just want a little bit of it sticking up. And you could use cardstock if you want. Even if you don't have 12 by 12 cardstock in a coordinating color, you can always use um, eight and a half by 11 cardstock and then just, um, have that little bit of a gap or add another little piece. No one's really going to notice. The best part is you have fun making your layout and kind of making a mess. All right. So, oops, just some glue because these will go in page. Oops, I got glue on me one second. Better take that off before I get it everywhere. So some ideas. I work a full-time job as well as doing stamping and um, as well as scrapbooking and the dogs and the garden. <laughs> so life can be really busy sometimes and it can be hard to either print those photos so I can chronologically scrapbook or um, sit down and scrapbook. And that's one of the reasons why I love making these pages, carving out the time to make these videos for you, is because it's a way for me to share my passion to help all of us, whether you're, whether you're, whenever you're watching this, to help find time to be creative. Creative. So I hope to spark some creativity um, with these videos. All right. So this here is ten and a half by like five and a quarter, because these are three and a half by five and a half. So this will go like this. I'm not going to glue it down yet, but I want to kind of place my photos down. We're going to do a little bit of stamping here with the just my type. Um, I did um, already put the photos down with some stamp and seal. So this is not the seal plus, this is stamping seal. So that way you can pull the photos up. So I had started placing the photos down and then they didn't match up when they got here. So I had to pull them back up. So you can do that with a stamp and seal. So here I have a little Flynn in our hands. He's in these so adorables. And um, he's much bigger now. <laughs> um, so pretty peacock. And then this is pebbled path. So we're just going to glue one onto the other. And this is something similar to what I did on the other layout. I had a larger photo of him in our hands again. So carrying over the theme. So that way I can put this right here. So that one, it was reverse. It was Pebble Path first and then Pretty Peacock to make this photo stand out above the other two on this layout. So I'm just pulling some elements over to this layout. And even if you are creating a layout that say, it's not going to be an opposite of when you've created before, maybe it's in a different year, maybe it's a different season, you can still pull some elements over that you really love from that layout to recreate another one. Inspiration is everywhere. Or if that's too broad, inspirations and pages you've already made. All right, so, um, Stamping. I have some pecan pie here, cardstock, and it is one of the colors in the designer series paper. And we're going to grab the Just My Type stamp set, and we're going to do this hello, because this hello is pretty cool. Hello, whoops. 
then we're going to use some, well, actually, instead of Memento, let's use some Pebbled Path ink. Let's see how it turns out. And if it doesn't turn out, well, there's two sides to cardstock. And uh, I have more of it. All right, that is not going to work. Uh, maybe that will work. Okay, so might be too. Oops, might be too juicy. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, looky there. That's a pretty good stamped image, and it looks a little different because it's not just black. It looks pretty dark, but it's a brown. And then we'll just clean up the stamp set or the stamp set. Uh, stamp not stamp set. Okay, there we go. So then this one, I wanted to I'm gonna use some stamp and seal because I'm going to put this behind a photo. Um, is this going to let me do it? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll just glue it right down onto the layout and then I don't have to worry about getting glue everywhere. All right, so we're going to take Let's see, let's see, the spacing is something like this. We're going to put some glue on the back of this. We want it to be something right about here-ish. Should be up a little bit, but I don't know, will it move? It will move. Liquid glue, you have just a moment to plop it down a bit. It should go over. Will it move? It will. There we go. I think that'll work. All right. Now we'll just smoosh it down. And then we'll take our stamp and seal. Now, the best thing to do with the stamp and seal, at least I have found, one, you have to make sure the, the, the tape is not sticking to your fingers like it is for me right now, but the uh, tape part has to be on this little gray piece there where this little gob of stuff is, tape is. Let's just take that off. And you don't need a lot, just a little, like a little check mark, either to the right or the left is all you need. And a little cover just helps keep it out of the dirt or dirt out of the glue. Now we'll just stick that down there. And then this one, I can just use some glue, some of the liquid glue. Now I kept this photo four inches. So that way it would look similar to this one, which is four inches, four inches thick. So four inches high. So this one's four inches high, but this one stands up more because it has a couple layers. All right, so I don't think I'm going to put any stamped images underneath. And because I want this more focused on the dog, we're going to keep this very, not a lot of stamped images, just we're going to add some hearts. We're going to add some embellishments here in a minute. And if you'd like to know the products used on this layout, there'll be a link below to my blog. And that blog post will have a list of all the products used or a link to the list of all the products used and um also at the end of this video if you haven't watched this one the um, this one will show up at the end of the video so that you can click on that and keep watching to see how i created this layout so we have these little hearts here from the just my type stamp set so that's this one right here and i've used some pebbled path ink in cardstock to get that going and we're going to use the fine tip here to put some hearts i don't know if that was the best place to put that but i like kind of these hot hearts down here on the side 
Especially right here where I'm giving him the biggest smile. Because he's just so adorable. Like so. And if you want, you can add hearts everywhere. I was thinking about even using like the little high somewhere, but decided against it for whatever reason. So now we have these champagne rhinestones. And so it works because the color is very similar. All right, so we're going to take some of these little guys here. And just to add a little bit of sparkle. It's always fun to add some sparkle to your page. And rhinestones, pearls, gems, they all do a great job. And you can um, find a color that will coordinate. Whoops, you couldn't see that. Find a color that will coordinate or um, you can also color them with the Stampin' Buns if you wanted. So then you can pick any color, oops, any Stampin' Up! color to color in your, especially the rhinestones or the pearls. These um, champagne ones are good for darker colors because they're already a little darker. So it can be a little bit easier to get that darker color and still have some sparkle. All right, so I think that's enough. So there is our second layout of Flynn. Look at the adorable face. Um, using the Earth and Elegance Designer Series paper and um, using two, three different designs from that pack of paper. So you can, when you cut your paper up, you can really stretch it. And when you've created a layout, you love the colors, you can use it to create another layout um, or use it for inspiration for using different designer series paper. So as a reminder, the link will be for the products below and um, the video for this layout will show up. So you can click that and head over there, but that will also be in the description for you. Until next time.